Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. Last part we took care of the last Empire mission and so now the Avon 4, now we'll handle the fall of the Avon 4. So let's jump into that. The destruction of the Death Star is a tremendous victory. But several Imperial garrisons escaped the blast, and their escape pods have crashed on the planet. They have combined their ranks and are moving on our base to attack. We must finish off the Imperials before our celebration can truly begin. Okay, so the Avon 4 is no longer safe as a base, and Imperial Strife Force is making its way to the Great Temple to delay the Imperials for as long as possible while the bulk of our forces escape use vanguards to deploy mines lawn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like how the briefing dude tells you that we're just gonna wipe them all out and then celebrate and the information thing tells you we're trying to allow our forces to evacuate so yeah okay I'm just gonna run up here and get a little jump on the computers and try to grab this empty command post seven to the side and they just want to balance it out so this one remains neutral rebels have the high ground advantage but no vehicles other than the speeder bike, and, uh, is that the first time I dive without killing anyone? Like, to start off, well, I mean, there's, I think there's been times I died without killing anyone before. Anyways, so, yeah. Empires have ATSTs, and Rebels have nothing but speed bikes. And also got turrets, but ATSTs can take those out with one shot. Yes, yeah, the turret you see in the movie with the dude watching the... Falcon land on the planet, and then watching all the X-wings lift off. That kind of turn. But yeah. Anyways, my main strategy is to run down here. This is the most poorly defended command post that you're close to. So, if you can grab this, yeah, this is another like map control level. Basically, I'm really bad at on these like forest missions. Like, I never put up good numbers on these at all. So, don't expect me, like, tearing enemies apart. One thing that annoys me on these force missions is enemy units seem to be able to see you through, like, brush and everything, but you can't see them through it, and they can see you well enough so that they'll actually hit you quite a bit when they fire through the brush, and it's rather annoying. Anyway, so yeah, this is a little back pathway to their rear command post. Definitely a good idea to go after this one because this is where their ATST spawn. And also because the only other command post they have left is just it's a nightmare to try to take, at least for me. So yeah, this one arguably easier to take, though in ways more annoying. You kinda have to rely on spawns again, so a little bit of luck involved trying to take this thing. And uh, Okay. Yes, hello. Let's take care of you. And, uh, let's heal up. Hey, I got some friendly units coming up here. That's gonna be really helpful. Back me. Follow me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that's them shooting. And what the heck is that ATSD doing? I don't know. And I don't care. It can stand there and be stupid all at once. That just is a perfect example of the stupidity of units in this game. And oh crap! We captured a command post. Actually decided to be smart for once. Get down. Huh? We take the command post and he's like, "Okay, screw that. I'm going back to running into my wall." Let's go. Let's see what he does. Yes, huh? He's walking back into the wall, so. Yeah, they're all spawning from that command post. Um, oh, screw it. I'm just gonna take a risk and see if I can't capture this thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Try to sneak in here. Hopefully I'm not seen by anything. Uh, just hide here. Oh, that's stupid... Oh, great. Yeah, I remember several parts ago, I said, send you flying, and then they'll have no mercy fire on you as you try to get back up. Yeah. There, that's a perfect example. Your stupid ally units. Still having knockback with those grenades. 
I'm getting you killed. Yeah. They took that command post. Probably be easier to take that one back than that one. Definitely be a good idea. I don't want to risk seeing them come back in this way. And downed it. Yeah. I'm not gonna put up very good numbers on this level, I guarantee you. Yeah, let's just try to go in and take that command post back. Just focus on map control, that's what I do. If you're good at killing enemies in this kind of environment, these kind of levels, then by all means. I just prefer to focus on... No. And, you know, this game is more focused on map control than some games. It almost forces you to have map control, but... Yeah, there's still plenty of combat in it. Alright, let's take care of you. Someone shooting at me? Or was that my ally? It must have been my ally because we're not shooting anyone. Alright, let's just get back in this capture circle and oh crud. Can I survive? Nope. Almost took it. But hopefully we can get in there. Ah, they're trying to take it back. Okay, no. Either they left or they're dead. But what we got them down to like 40 now, so not really too much to worry about actually at this point. No, you're not killing me. No, go away. Like those pilots who have the grenade launchers. Imperial pilots have grenade launchers. Be really useful against enemy more against a swarm of enemies, but still can help you in a tight spot more than a blaster pistol can, so kinda nice to see a little bit better programming with that. But whatever, I'm not gonna complain when the enemy is being stupid. Incoming. So yeah, let's just take care of these last few stormtroopers and whatnot. Get down. Okay. Will you die? Are you got just a few left. Let's scurry on over there. Let's see if we can take them out ourselves. Oh, okay. They took that thing back. Okay, they're all swarming over there, so let's just go ahead and meet them on the bridge. Follow me. We captured a command post. Trying to get some allies. Screw it. I'm just gonna go for this. I'm probably gonna die, and I didn't throw that grenade anywhere near how far I wanted to throw it on. Now they're up here. Okay. Objective acquired. And allies yet again. Oh my gosh, it launched me so high that I actually got hurt falling back down. Okay, there's what, two left? Three, okay. Now there's two, so. Oh, they're both hiding down here. Can I take him out? Nope. Ah, that shotgun. How I hate you so. Okay, guys, can you take him out? Sheesh. Finally dies. That guy was alive way too long. Okay, so our last little pal decided to run all the way back over to here just to take that one command post. So now we got to deal with that. We've lost the command post. All right, just run on over. Let's take him out. Enemy if he have kills me. Command post. Okay, he's running off that way. Okay, I've got him in my sight, just can't see him too well. Okay, there he is, and dead. Da -da 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 -da. Seventeen kills and six deaths. That's... I was expecting a little better, whatever. I think seventeen is, like, the least amount of kills I've gotten in a level so far. So, yeah. This is usually my worst level. I don't know. It's really tough and difficult. I'm surprised this is actually only my second attempt at the level, so I'm kind of happy about that, so whatever. I am not going to complain at all. Not at all. Okay. 
So anyways, with that we got the Evan concept art. And also, following this point, we start a run of probably probably my three most favorite levels in the game after this, yep. Up next, we're going to be starting off with the Battle of Hoth, probably my second favorite level and my second favorite map in the game. So we'll do that next time. See you guys then.